But first, new tonight after a week where five Las Vegas students and two in Pahrump were arrested in connection with bringing guns to school or making threats, a lot of people are wondering, what are those kids thinking? 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan is digging deeper into what could be motivating them and how you can protect your kids. Brian. Yeah, obviously some tense moments at Valley schools this week, but the expert we spoke with tonight says spotting the signs of some of this dangerous behavior could be as simple as asking your kids how their day was and then watching their body language as well as listening to their words. Five schools in Las Vegas alone have seen police put kids in handcuffs for bringing weapons to school or threatening mass violence. All this as students and parents are on edge after 17 people were killed in Florida. I'd rather have an overreaction than no reaction at all and then something happened. That's not counting the two kids arrested in connection with a threat at a Pahrump Middle School and an investigation into this message scrawled on a high school bathroom stall. The question is, what drives children to make these threats? A mentally healthy person isn't doing this. So maybe we're dealing with a child that's depressed. Maybe we're dealing with a child that has a history of some anxiety. Acting on those feelings could lead to a dangerous situation for the child and their peers. That's why Beth Creel says it's important for parents to take time out of their busy schedule to ask their kids how they're doing even if they're afraid of the response. I think parents nowadays are sometimes a little bit afraid to broach that subject because I think that sometimes there's a different side, a darker side, and parents find that they don't know how to handle it. When it comes to the weapons brought to campus, Krill says it's obviously always wrong, but says you can't assume that motive is sinister. She says some students bring weapons to school because they don't feel safe on campus. Reporting live, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News.